Hey guys, this is Brian Bockhiller, and in being a successful musician today, we're going to talk about bandwidth capping and why it's a bad thing for the independent musician. So, I grew up using the internet, literally. I mean, I've been using the internet for over 15 years at this point. I've seen it go from something that nearly no one used, and in order to know how to use it, you had to pretty much be an uber geek in a lot of ways, uh, to something that's everywhere now. I mean, it's literally everywhere. It's on every device, nearly, that, that you can carry on you, or, you know, most of these devices have some way of accessing it. It's literally absolutely everywhere. It has become something that, in some ways, we probably can't live without. Now, that may sound crazy and sad to you, but it's a simple fact of life, and the internet is a great, great thing. It has empowered artists to be able to share their work without having to go through the usual hoops that you have to jump through in order to get your work out. You know, it used to be that if I wanted to share my music to the world, I had to figure out how to get it on the radio, or I had to figure out how to get it pressed to vinyl or something like that, and this was the way of things for years and years and years. And, of course, people had to come to live shows and so on and so forth. I don't have to do that anymore. You know, now I can create music and I can just put it right out to the Internet. Now, there's a lot of people that have a problem with that. They don't like it. They think it cheapens the art, yada, yada, yada. I don't buy that. Because, personally, I think that being able to share your work in the most direct format possible really equals the best work no matter what. So, this is where the issue of bandwidth capping comes in to me. Now, I don't know if you guys know what bandwidth capping is. Some of you may have experienced and others may have no idea what I'm talking about. But the basic idea behind bandwidth capping is you pay money to an internet service provider every month. You pay that money and as a result, you get a connection to the internet. You get to download information from the internet. You get to upload information, so on and so forth. You watch stuff on Netflix. You listen to music, various things like that. If you're someone like me, you create a lot of information, you create a lot of content, and you upload that content to the internet. As a result, you use up certain amounts of data, and that requires using data coming down to you and sending data up to the internet. Now, what is starting to become more and more norm now is these internet service providers have decided that they're going to start capping the amount of data which you get to use in an average month on your internet connection. Now, most, band, most ISPs are restricting most folks to 250 gigabytes worth of data. This sounds like a lot, and it is a fair amount, but for someone such as someone like myself and a lot of independent artists, musicians, video creators, and people of that like, 250 gigabytes goes by pretty darn quickly, and especially if that 250 gigabytes counts as both your upload and your download quota. So, think about that, guys. If you're someone like me and you create a lot of content, you upload it to the web, and all of a sudden I end up using up all of my bandwidth through legal purposes, mind you, and all of a sudden I'm told that either my internet connection is going to be slowed or I'm going to lose it until next month, that is going to hurt my ability to do what I do, especially as a creative person, as someone who can make money off of my product over the internet. This is how bandwidth capping is very simply going to hurt the independent musician and the independent artist. This is why it is an incredibly bad thing. Now, you will be told by ISPs and people who like to stand up for ISPs that the reason for bandwidth capping is because bandwidth as far as a lot of ISPs are concerned now, should be treated like a natural resource. You know, if you don't want to pay a whole lot on your gas bill, then you don't run your heater as much. That sounds right, but it's a totally ludicrous idea. And here's the reason, guys. Internet bandwidth is not a natural resource. It's not. Very simply, it's not a natural resource. It uses natural resources, obviously, in order to exist. It must use energy. Energy comes from fossil fuels, natural resources. But the internet itself and all the data which encompasses it is not a natural resource. It should not be treated as a natural resource. It makes no sense to tell someone that they can only access this much data in a month. Because very simply what you're doing is you're restricting the ability for people to actually access information. And by doing that, 
Uh, I hate to tell you guys, we're getting into some really, really dirty territory at that point. I really think that this is a horrible, horrible idea. What it really comes down to is the reason that ISPs like to cap your data is very simply this. They are controlling a money-making source that they don't really have a whole lot of control over other than to simply restrict you from being able to access it. As I've said in the past, a lot of corporations don't like the internet, guys. They don't like the fact that they don't get control over it. They don't like the fact that you can go to the internet, listen to any music you want, watch any video you want, and various things like that. Now, I've talked about piracy multiple times before. I don't like piracy, but it's going to exist in some fashion or another. When you start to restrict people's access to things, what do they do? They find ways to get it for free or on the cheap or, you know, in uh, nefarious ways much, much, much more easily. It's true. Look at, you know, look at prohibition, guys. Sorry, it didn't work. So all that these companies are doing is controlling how it is that you get this data. They're basically saying that they want to control you being able to access this much and make you pay more money in order for you to be able to access more. So if you like watching things on Netflix and you use up your bandwidth allotment for the month, what are your choices? Probably pay more money to your ISP. It's a ludicrous idea, guys. It doesn't make any sense. The internet is not like the heater that you use to heat your house. The internet is not a natural resource. Remember that. This is a very important thing because in order to act as if there is a finite, a, a, a limited amount, should I say, of data on the internet which you can use is totally ridiculous. That's not true. Natural resources, yes. There is a limited amount of natural resources we can use and it makes sense to not use them all up all the time. But the internet is infinite. Data is infinite. There is no limit to it. So for an ISP to say that there is, is totally ludicrous and goes against what the internet stands for. So what can you do about this? Well, you can write to the ISP that you currently pay money to and tell them, you know what, I pay you a lot of money. You should keep up your end of the bargain and give me a connection to the internet, which I'm not going to worry about being disconnected at some point simply because you think that you're going to control piracy or you want to make more money off of me. You can do that. You can also do what I've said many, many times before, vote with your dollars. Find an ISP in your area which does not cap your data, if at all possible. Sign up with them. Give them your money. They are much more deserving of your money than Comcast or some of these other jerks. They very simply will cap your data, keep you from accessing certain parts of the internet, and very frankly treat you like a criminal very often because all these ISPs that cap data simply think that pretty much everybody who uses the internet is a criminal. Everybody's getting everything for free and they should pay more money for it. It's BS, guys. It's ridiculous because it's not true. If you allow people to use the internet and they vote with their dollars, they can very simply vote very, very well. Support independent musicians like you, like me, and many of the other independent artists that currently use the internet as a way to publish their works to the world and make it available. So, vote with your dollars, be informed, find out if your ISP uses data ca capping, and if they do, let me know. Tell me if it's affected you, if you've had any problems with it, or if maybe things are going just fine for you. You never know. You might have a data cap, and maybe you never have any issue with it. That's perfectly fine, but I think that you guys should be aware of this as independent artists, and I hope that it is helpful to you as always. So keep in touch with me, drop me a comment, get me on my website, get me on Twitter, get me on Facebook, all that good junk, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care and keep being successful. You